Okay, here we are. Here we are. And right here, you're on the very top. And it shows where you have been formally, uh, kindly chunked out of the room. As I will be tomorrow. Okay, let's go down. And Evie's problems or concerns will be near the end of this. So it's quite a ways down. And this is just to show you right here if you, um, somebody might have something in here that maybe had forgotten or would like to refresh and look at uh, that would help uh, your business. I'm going kind of fast, but you could probably slow it down on your end. What is this? Something with Vicki Snyder. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on that. Whoops. Three dots on the upper chrome. Okay, I don't know what that is. So... Okay, how to fix unsafe passwords. I'm going to go ahead and play this for you in case so you didn't get it. This is something that you can test out. So if you go into your follow-up funnels, if you're on a 297 plan and you're having any problems, you want to test out your emails. Instead of having to wait one hour, three hours, I think you had six. One day, two day, three day, four day, five days. I would test out those e emails in the next 10 minutes by doing this. Go to your follow up funnels, go to your abandonment cart sequence for your blueprint, edit the emails and go into the bit where you have to schedule it out. It'll, it'll say for the first one, email number one would be one hour. What I'll do inside of a calculator, I would just pull this up. One over 60 and the number that appears is usually uh, the number that you need to place there. So have one over 60 for one minute, two over 60 for two minutes, and whatever the decimal place would be. Sounds weird, let me just figure this out. So for the schedule that you wanna do for email number one is 0 0.016. Drop that in when it says um, schedule, and it will ask you the number, and you can type this in, and it can be 0 0.016, and then send for reviewing will be on the bottom right hand side and then do whatever you need to do and get all the way to the final summary and accept that and do whatever you need to do. Do that for all the emails. Just remember, take a picture of the screen that you see for the set um, sequences. So you've got one hour, uh, one hour, three hours, one day, two day, three day, four day, five days. And then I think I have a text message that's going out on day five as well as an email. And then they, day six, it says add to the Seinville list. And number seven is removed from the blueprint uh, remove from the blueprint list, I think. Blueprint opt-in. Just take a picture of that screen. At least you can see the sequence of how it should be, and you can revert back to them. But hopefully that makes sense. So you just need one over 60 for one minute, two over 60, and then you can figure out the decimal places, do three, up to three decimal places, and then that should work. You can see those, those emails firing off at the same time make your purchase for your masterclass within the 10 minutes and hopefully that should stop it make sure all the rules have been applied so that if they've seen it and not purchased or have purchased hmm, maybe i might have to check my my settings on that yeah it's the same as mine so with the rules it's never brought the product i think i think you had the same thing yeah never brought the product select action rule is equal to and then the blueprint that should be fine if you have any other issues or problems or anything like that Vicky just um, I would definitely follow up with click on support on that because that would be a glitch on their side and the rule should apply to that particular product that's being referred to uh, and and uh, within their follow up funnel sequence 
Okay. Well, Darren, it wouldn't be this time. Wouldn't Tarzan? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me see which one was that. That was from Well, that's that one where they add the uh, ninety-seven dollars uh, as a non-refundable deposit that Blake was talking about. And Darren. Yeah, she's Evie's just waiting on her blueprint on that one. Hey buddy. Been so down this is on a Monday. Um, Back at home. Uh, I need your help. Um, maybe a week after my, you had. You know, forgive me. Your I, last day. I'm asking the same things again. Uh, I need your help. If we could do a five-minute Zoom, that would be awesome. Just a review. I've got to get that done for you plus thing going. The mock-up graphics and stuff if you could review that with me real quick and let me know what i need to get to i think kezia is her name or something but uh, i just want to get that out of my life and get it moving forward and then i'm going to be studying the um you know traffic stuff traffic explosion
you know, the end of the following week when people had left. Oh, here, okay, here it is right here. EV uh, describes what was going on. Oh, man, I hate when that does that. Oh, shoot. I went back and... Oh, man. Well, it really got me confused now. I don't know where it left off at. Hey, buddy. Uh, I've been down for a little while here. Back over here. And back at home. Uh, I need your help. Um, and this is and just my, Spencer right here. So You know, forgive me. I am asking the same things again. Uh, I need your help. If we could do a five-minute Zoom, that would be awesome. Just a review. I've got to get that done for you plus thing going. The mock-up graphics and stuff if you could review that with me real quick and let me know and this one does that to, scrolling down Kezia, and you get to a certain or point or whatever and it wants to but, flip uh, it back i just want to get that out of my life and get seen it in the past. forward and then i'm going to be studying the uh, <clears throat> well spencer's you know, continuing stuff. talking i'm going to continue traffic going forward with this this looks familiar maybe we've seen that before i'm not going to click on that i guess i could but no, we've already seen that. <clears throat> um, going fast, but you could probably slow it down or um, stop it as you needed. <clears throat> Excuse me, man, I'm making all sorts of noise with hiccuping and everything. Okay. Yeah, this is back to where we're at. We have problems with click funnels right here. So that was, I believe, last week. I don't want to click on that because I don't know what it's going to send me back or whatever. Dang it, man. Shit. I'm just reviewing the live call right now. It's like 4.37 in the morning here in the UK. I don't know what time it is over there. Maybe it's like 3.37 p.m. over there. Uh, what I have noticed is that I do say either way a lot. And so you're saying it too. Um, but when I someone asks me in the side of the Blake's Partner Program, um, can we build this somewhere else? I think that was the question that I see a lot. Um, and so when other people also say, can we use PayPal? I'm saying no, but there is a way of actually making that happen. Now, of course, people can use other funnel builders if they choose to, um, as a done for you service, you're gonna stick pro uh, predominantly with ClickFunnels so that yeah, they can be signed up to you and so you get them a big recurring revenue off the back of that. Hopefully they haven't actually opened a ClickFunnels account before but also with any upgrades, any changes, as things start to move and change with Blake and whatever he's testing, it would mean as a partner inside of this program, uh, we would have to make sure that the 
build was done on ClickFunnels first for them to see what they would be able to clone out, copy using another funnel builder. Now, um, with the social media lead machine or the masterclass, it can be built somewhere else, which is why they produce the PSD file for the funnel. So it can be completely done somewhere else. It's not really a big issue, but if you do want somebody who is really saying that, yeah, can I have this done in my, I would like this to be done in another funnel builder, I would I, I would just say yes and get someone as a funnel builder to go and build it for you at a really, really low price from Fiverr. So don't worry too much about that. Accept the money, spend the money so that you can build a team of people that you can just tap into every now and again, just contract them to, I don't know, let's say, uh, put it on Kajabi or put it on um, Kartra or any other funnel builder out there. In the end, the choice is yours. Now, if you want to be building this yourself, then say no. If you are open to the idea of just saying yes and uh, receiving the bit, the business that way, and of course, at the done for you level, it is, it is a higher amount that they are paying. So um, be open to it. And sometimes it just takes for you to just bite your tongue for a moment, and you may find that maybe other people are also trying to price avert, uh, avert to something else. But yeah, you get the point. Your choice at the end of the day. And if you want to stay stand strong with just Stripe only, or if you want to stand strong with your pricing, or uh, the funnel builder of choice, I'll be <coughs> it's your business. <coughs> and um, yeah, and I believe that you make the right choice eventually. If, uh, if it is a higher amount, I don't see why we can't spend $300. I'll be completely honest, I'm very well versed with ClickFunnels and so you will all be the same too. It's only now that I'm looking into another system because I need something that's more robust than ClickFunnels and unfortunately ClickFunnels just doesn't cut, uh, it just doesn't cut it when it comes to something as big as this, which is why Blake uses Kartra to maintain a bigger system, the help desk and everything else that's involved in the backend system. Um, it's, it's really well well made but for what we need for this build ClickFunnels is enough but eventually ClickFunnels will evolve and change and finally rise up to the challenge of making it even better so that they won't need to go anywhere else but right now it's a case of price versus what do you get on that funnel builder and there are other funnel builders out there that look like ClickFunnels so it's easy, easy for other, other people to just transition over as well as as well as adding a ton of other value and features and things that people won't even use because they can't understand it at the speed of which uh, it's just offering too much. But there is the education on the other funnel builder, funnel building platforms is just not there. But to use another funnel builder is interesting because right now I'm going through another learning period of trying to figure out uh, Kartra. So even though I am using Kartra for the back end system within the Lex Panel program so that we can manage and communicate and do whatever we need to do um, to have it for myself as a funnel builder I'm not very well versed with it at all so you don't want to be trying to learn something else either way <laughs> I've just said it um, but answering Simon's question Simon um, don't worry you're not bothering me at all even though I'm awake at 4.50 in the morning here in the UK oh, with, the fo with the fulfillment emails hmm 
Okay, so I used this a while ago. So when I was first starting out with the fulfillment emails, I actually just used a Hotmail or a Gmail in the support tickets. Uh, so when when it, if you want them to, if and and a lot of people were saying no, you need to be branded, and actually no, you just want to be contactable. So if you're using the messenger platform for your page, or you're using your messenger platform for your personal profile, or you're using um, an email address inside of the fulfillment email. Um, I've actually set it up so I've got support at affiliateleadsmachine.com and for the longest time, I think it was probably maybe about um, six or seven months in, I had Hotmail, so I had Darren Ruth at Hotmail.com uh, inside of the fulfillment email. It doesn't matter, they're able to contact you. It just doesn't look as professional, but it's just a, it's just an oversight, so don't worry about that. So put whatever email you want to be contacted on, uh, maybe a separate email completely for it, um, and just put it inside there if you choose and just put it inside there if you choose now the only thing that I would say going forward is that whenever you do you what whichever email you do use make sure it's in the top right hand side in on the order confirmation page and on all of your footers on desktop and mobile the email must be the same I would say that at least but for the longest time I actually had hotmail.com because I didn't want to pay for the um, mailbox uh, so use whatever you think is best um, and I do have support at affiliateleasemachine.com and that has been set up for free I don't own the mailbox but I own the domain but there was a there was a YouTube video I followed so I could set up a, a mailbox inside of Gmail inside of my personal Gmail account which was crazy it was free and I like to find free things I like to find stuff that I can go lean with inside of the business <coughs> And that, that is the end of that one.